Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today on Cooking Up Love, we are making our easy sage sausage stuffing recipe. A delicious savory dressing with apples and cranberries, sage sausage, and fresh herbs. This stuffing is one of our favorite casseroles, easy enough to serve for any dinner and one of the most popular side dishes on our Thanksgiving and Christmas dinners. Here's a quick look at our ingredients. Today I'm using prepared stuffing mix. You can also toast your own bread and I'll leave details for using fresh bread along with the entire recipe in the description box below. Start by chopping 3-5 to five stalks of celery. And I'm going to go ahead and chop the fresh herbs. Stripping the leaves from about 6 sprigs of thyme, which will give me about a teaspoon of fresh thyme. I'm using about 3 tablespoons of fresh sage and mincing the leaves. Peel one medium-sized yellow onion and give it a rough chop. We post new videos every week. Remember to subscribe before you leave so you know when we've posted a new one. Now we're going to saute one 16-ounce package of Jimmy Dean Sage Sausage in a large cast iron skillet over medium-high heat. Stir the sausage as it cooks, breaking it into small to medium-sized crumbles. Once the sausage is cooked, add the onion and continue to saute until they soften. If this is your first time on our channel, we believe sharing homemade food spreads joy and touches lives. And we'll show you how to make delicious dishes you can proudly share with your friends and family, like this incredibly delicious savory stuffing that's sure to become one of your favorites. Now add the chopped celery and herbs. Mixing to combine and cook this over medium heat for about 2-3 to three minutes. Sprinkle in a half teaspoon of pepper and a half teaspoon of salt. Then remove the pan from heat and set it aside to cool. While the sausages, onions, and herbs are cooling, we're going to get the rest of the ingredients ready. Crack and whisk one egg. Chop the apple. I'm using a Honeycrisp. You can also use any other tart, flavorful apple like a Granny Smith or a Fuji. Mince a handful of parsley, about a quarter of a cup. Measure out 5-6 to six cups of stuffing mix. I'm using Bodine's sourdough stuffing mix and it's available at Costco and Amazon. This bag will make about 4 casseroles. I'm going to start with 2 cups of chicken broth and add the whisked egg and 1 teaspoon of better than bullion roasted chicken base, which will really boost the flavor. Give it a stir and then begin adding it to the stuffing mix. We like our stuffing on the moist side, almost like a savory bread pudding. Add the broth a bit at a time. And I like to mix the chicken broth in with the bread first so I can feel if it needs a little more or a little less broth. Continue to toss, allowing the bread to absorb the broth and the egg mixture. Thank you so much for watching our channel. When you watch, comment, and share our videos, it helps other people find us and your support means so much to us. And if you love to entertain, check out our playlist of dessert recipes and potluck favorites. All simple to make and I guarantee they taste incredible. Okay, now add the sausage mixture, folding the bread and the mixture together. Then add the chopped apple and parsley and one cup of dried cranberries. I didn't realize that I only had about a half a cup left, so luckily I found some raisins in the pantry 
And so I'm adding a, about a half a cup of raisins to our mixture. If you wanted to add walnuts here, that would also be super delicious. Continue folding the mixture together until it's thoroughly incorporated. Transfer the stuffing into your favorite casserole dish. This recipe will fill about a 13 by 9 inch dish. Just let the mixture fall into the casserole dish and spread it around, but don't compress or mash it down. We want the stuffing to be light and fluffy. Then top with a little more parsley and drizzle with the melted butter. Cover the dish with aluminum foil. I keep the top a little loose so it doesn't stick to the top of the stuffing while it's cooking. Cook in the 350 degree oven for about 40 minutes. Then remove the cover and cook for about 15 to 20 minutes until it's browned and it starts to crisp on top. It looks gorgeous, doesn't it? It's so delicious and really so easy to make. So don't save this one just for the holidays. This savory sage stuffing is moist and buttery on the inside and crispy on top with an incredible blend of rich flavors. Let me know if you decide to make this. And remember to subscribe before you leave so you know when we've posted a new recipe. Here's some more great recipes I think you'll like and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.